Kids Acoustic Paint, I'm Elizabeth, and today we are going to be testing out the Systema Microwave Easy Eggs container. So, every morning for breakfast, I like to have two eggs, but I don't like to actually scramble them in like a pan on the stove. I like to put them in a cup and microwave them. However, the cups are very, very hard to clean. So I looked online and I found this. And it's basically a cup that you put eggs in to microwave, but it's supposed to be nonstick and you can make omelets in it and poached eggs and just a bunch of stuff. Today we're gonna be doing the breakfast sandwich one because that's what I have almost every day. And yeah, so let's just go over the packaging and what this thing actually is first. So like I said, it's the Systema Microwave Easy Eggs container. It's um, made in New Zealand. It's BPA free, which is nice. Uh, what does it say on the back? It is dishwasher safe, which is also nice. Microwave safe, freezer safe, do not use in a convection oven. Okay, and it's food safe. Well, I'd hope so because we're making food in this. Okay, so let's open this up. Oh, that's nice. There we go. All right. So, it's not that big. I think it holds like two eggs or something. It opens, you put the eggs in here, you close it, and this is a little vent. Apparently, uh, I was looking at the reviews on Amazon and some people forgot to open this vent right here, and their container exploded in the microwave. So, whoops, hopefully we don't do that today. All right, let's get out what we're gonna need eggs, bread, cheese. Okay, so the instructions say for a breakfast sandwich, crack a room temperature egg, add a splash of milk and mix with a fork. Season and add your toppings. Hmm. I just have refrigerated eggs. It's okay, I'm just gonna use the refrigerated eggs. Okay, now I'm gonna add my cheese. Close it up. And put on, or open the vent. That's very important. Okay, okay, now it says open vent and microwave for 40 seconds, take out and stir. Then cook for a further 40 to 60 seconds. Okay. Okay, so the next instructions are take it out and stir, then cook for another 40 to 60 seconds. Oh boy. Okay, so just taking it out of the microwave, I notice there's a little spillage. Just a little, and I also got egg on my camera. Let's get that off, there we go. So there's a little on the sides. The egg looks like it spilled over a little, but moment of truth, I hope it worked. Ah, hot steam. It's, looks pretty good. Oh, ow, 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 burning my finger. Right now I have some toast, toasting in the toaster. So hopefully that'll be done soon and we can finish assembling our sandwich and actually first let's test the non-stick ability of this. All right, so if I just, oh, toast is done. If I just pull it away, Ooh, not bad. Okay, let me go get my toast. So we've got the egg, got the toast. Let's see if this works. Ooh, that plastic is very hot, ouch. 
All right, this actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna get some salt and pepper. The egg is nicely cooked. I can't really taste the cheese, but that's okay. And the nonstick, um, let's see if we can just, okay, okay, it's pretty nonstick. Let's just add that to the sandwich. There we go. That didn't really do anything. All right, let's clean this up. So I let it sit while I was eating my sandwich, and so it's had a good amount of time to just kind of bake. So let's let's see how this how this goes. Hey guys, it's voiceover Elizabeth here. I'm just doing this audio because I wasn't a big fan of, of how it sounded with the water. So yeah, so this container was actually really, really easy to clean. I just had to use this little brown scraper to kind of get the stuck egg off the container itself, but it wasn't like caked on there. So it just came off really, really easily like you see here. So then I just used some dish soap, I think it's like just the normal Dawn, not anything special. And I squirted it onto the container and used a little kind of, I don't know what kind of brush it is, it's just I used a dish brush to scrub this um, out after I made it all sudsy. And uh, it was about at this point that I realized that the container actually said dishwasher safe on the packaging, so I didn't need to be washing it by hand, but hey, it's, it's, it's good content. Here you can see me trying to get the sides. I'll open it up and scrub a little harder in a second. Um, but I noticed that the egg started to actually like get into the little crevices right along the rim of the container. So that's just one thing you really have to pay attention to because you know, you don't want fermented egg in your container next time you go and use it. And now we're just rinsing the container really well just to get all the soap off before we put it away. And yeah, this was a super nice and easy way to make my eggs that is BPA free, microwave safe, dishwasher safe, and overall just really, really nice to use. So that was my review of the Sistema Microwave Easy Egg Container. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up to let me know. Click subscribe so you don't miss any future unboxings and reviews on our channel. And hit that notification so you're alerted every time we upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching and have a fabulous day. Bye!